Greetings, Sean here at Mahalo, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the control panel in Windows 7. The control panel is a very useful and very effective tool for modifying settings on your Windows 7 computer. To access the control panel, just click on the Start menu and click on Control Panel. From here, you can see all your items in a category view. To change the style to a style you might be more familiar with, if you're a Windows XP user, you can click on the category view and you can change that to large icons. Or even you can change it to small icons. But being as the default is category, we'll work from there. Now starting on the left, you have your system and security. And from inside this category, you have the action center that just lets you know when items require an action. For instance, if your firewall is down or if you need a Windows update. A Windows update is also in this category as well. And from here, you can also view your system information, backup and restore, and you can also upgrade your Windows. If you have Windows 7 Premium, you can upgrade to Professional or Ultimate, and right here gives you the price breakdown. You also have some of your administrative tools here as well. By clicking the Back button at the top left, we can go back to the main view. And from here, we have the Network and Internet, where you can view items on the network, and you can also change your home group. Right below that is hardware and sound, where you can add a printer and also adjust the sound on your computer. Programs, where you can add a program, uninstall a program, user accounts and family. From here you can add an account, delete an account, turn on the guest account, and also modify the accounts you have. Then appearance and personalization. This is where you can change your background, screensaver, icon size, text size, and also the color of windows. Clock and region pretty much does what it says, or allows you to modify your clock and change which region you're in. Like for instance, you can add a second time zone clock to your taskbar, like this one. Then there's the ease of access. This is simply an area that allows you to modify your windows in a different manner. For instance, if you wanted your computer to read text to you on the screen, if you wanted an on-screen keyboard, or if you wanted to magnify the items on your screen, you can do it all from the ease of access center. And there you go, that is the basics of the control panel. And as we go along, I'll give you more of an in-depth view of each item inside this control panel. To stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.